Hello and welcome back to our Origin Summer Preview 2015. I'm Eric Summer here with Mike from Gameland Games, and we're looking at the latest in the Tiny Epic franchise, Tiny Epic Galaxies. Yeah, so designed by Scott Alms, the exclusive designer of the Tiny Epic series. Okay. Uh, Tiny Epic Galaxies plays one to five players. Games last about 30 minutes or so. Okay. Uh, this is a, a very competitive game, but it's high luck, high strategy. Uh, in this game, players have an asymmetrical start, uh, owning their own galaxy, and then the game will become, a, uh, sorry, it's a symmetrical start that will become asymmetrical as players draft player powers by colonizing planets that are contested in the center of the board. Okay. So you'll, you'll have this powerful fleet of ships, you'll be managing resources, uh, and you'll be able to upgrade your galaxy throughout play, which will give you access to more ships, uh, and then you can send those out to the planets. Uh, in addition to that, players have secret missions that they're going to be trying to accomplish throughout the game that, okay. that other players don't know about. It's all driven uh, by a dice comboing mechanic, and, okay. you, and you'll see these beautiful, nice laser etched dice with a nice kind of galactic swirl inside. Nice. Uh, yeah, that, that's not straight black. That's sort of a swirly. There's gray in there. Indeed, yeah. there's some matter in there, yeah, right? I mean, you know, something happening in, in there. So, uh, so based on the size of your galaxy, you'll, you'll be rolling these dice at the beginning of a turn, and each side is going to be a different action. You'll be able to string those actions together, combo those with planets that you've acquired, or even planets that are still contested, uh, depending you know whether you land on a planet surface or begin colonizing it by landing on the colonizing track mm. uh, and then you plug your dice in and what's nice uh, and, and when you plug your dice in, you, you plug them in one at a time they're instantly resolved so how, what's going to happen with you know your fourth die is going to be affected by die number one two three and how you plug them in and what you okay. do uh, and what's also nice is that based on uh, players management of the culture resource they're always going to be able to follow every die that's plugged in by the active player. So it's not uncommon that, let's say, you're the active player and your opponent has done very well with keeping up their culture resource. As you lock in your die and start taking your actions, he can follow every single one you do. So for one, that really, really uh, kills the downtime in the game, which is okay. great. Players are always very active. Turn or, or not your turn, you're paying attention. Okay. But it's not uncommon that a player who's who's on the off turn will actually have a better result in his galaxy and perform better on your turn than even yourself. Well, that would make me feel great. <laughs> well, you better pay attention then. You better make sure that, that you're, you know, and that really plays into it because you will, you know, when you go and take certain planet acts, when you lock in certain die, you're going to want to consider, does my opponent have culture? Can he follow this? And is it going to benefit him more than, than what I'm getting out of this? Okay. And so there's a lot to consider in a 30 minute quick playing game. Yeah. All right, so this is in production right now. That's right. So we should be seeing this later this year? So backers can expect to see it in September, mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll be releasing it to retail October 16th. Okay. We are taking pre-orders uh, for Tiny Epic Galaxies on our website at gamelingames.com. So G-A-M-E-L-Y-N games.com. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mike. Tiny my pleasure. Tiny Epic Galaxies coming soon. Thank you for watching. Thanks. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com.